Hi felters and welcome. Today we're looking at multi-needle holding tools. So there's the punch tool, the clover tool. That blue one is a bad one I bought just to show you. That's a tri-needle holder that I use. That's three needles in a row and you can put, I use two in it most of the time. This is another tri-needle holder, but it's got a really good ergonomic design fits in your hand. That's an eight needle one and that's a six needle one. So the six needle one is the next step up and then the eight needle and that's a really lovely well-made one that one it's a cherry wood so we're gonna I'm going to show you how I fit the needles and what needles I use and I'm really excited about this because I've been looking at them for ages I was going to do this next week but I'm doing it now now I bought quite a few from the felted um, and they did have a good selection because I was saving postage and putting them all together so uh, just firstly to show you how to put the needles in so this is the tri needle so it opens up and you pop them in and they they slot in really well really straight so they're great this one i had to unscrew the screw so it's a bit awkward uh, when it comes to um, putting the needles in oh yeah just to show you i ordered a load of needles this is the forked needle from heidi feathers for attaching hair i'm going to do a video on this soon it's really odd it's got no barbs so I'm going to try that at some point. But I ordered a load of um, spiral needles, 38 and 40. And this is kind of going to be the key with multi-needle tools. When you're using them is the size of the needle. So I've put three, um, I think they were the 38s or the 40s. I can't remember for sure. But they were spiral and these seem to work really well. So this is a bit awkward doing it up with the screw, but it's possible. Make sure you've got a long um, screwdriver so that you don't hit the needles uh, this one is the six one so I actually tried um, I think they were 38 triangulars no 36 triangulars um, because I didn't have enough spirals to fill them all so I thought I'll try the triangulars and again when we test them out this is where the difference is going to be so I do speed this up because this gets a bit boring watching me put these all in now when I did this one up they weren't as straight as they could have been. It's still a very good tool, which you'll see in a bit, but they seem to sort of point in different directions. Whereas this cherry wood one is lovely, it came with instructions, um, and I put the spirals in, the 38 spirals. They slot in really, really nicely, and they were dead straight. But like I said, this one is really well made. There we go, and it's got a nice handle to it, but they were very straight in uh, the cherry wood one. So I'm using the same wool, it's just a cheviot top, just because I had loads of it. And don't worry, I'm going to use up this wool as the inside of things later on. So the punch tool, now this really is for 2D or flat felting. So if you were doing a 2D picture and you were starting out the base of it, I don't do 2D felting. And I bought this tool thinking it was going to be great for me, but I don't really use it. And it's got 10 needles, it's got a protector guard. It's quite noisy when you use it. I think I'll show you in a second the noise. So that's the guard on, so that's quite good. So I think the noise is, there you go, really quite noisy. So you have to be prepared for that. So I just took the tops, laid them out as you would do. It's also very good if you were doing the coat of an animal. I know that quite a lot of felters, they show you how you can do the animal and the core and then put the coat on. Um, I know you can't change these needles. Oh, you see, I'm using the brush because the brush um, has little resistance and it works really well with these needles, with this punch tool in particular. Um, and you just, you would make the coat of an animal and then you would pop it on top of the animal and needle it on. So it's quite, you know, you save a bit of time by doing it like that. There you go. So it's felted together quite well. It could probably keep going. And then that's how you would sort of put it on top of the animal or if it's a, a picture that you're doing. But like I said, it's more for flat felting. So the clover pen. <laughs> when I first started, I bought this blue one off Amazon and it's rubbish. And it just, it doesn't go into the wool and it doesn't open. So I cannot change the needles and I kept it because I just couldn't believe how rubbish it was and it kind of put me off multi-tools. And you can see the needles go together at the point and I've tried to stretch them apart and it just doesn't go in. So be warned, on Amazon it's very tricky to be sure, unless it's linked to like Heidi Feathers. But this is the Clover Pen. 
and this is fantastic and now I've used it I can't believe I haven't used it before and you can take you can put one needle in two needles or three so it's really good and you can take that bit off if you're going quite deep into some wool and you want to get rid of the cap so I think you know it's excellent and the needles that it's come with I can't find the size they they slot in really well I can't find the size of the needles but they look like they're about a 40 triangular um, and it works really well so I'm just going to roll up some of the wool and we're just going to felt it and I mean this pen it's precise but it goes quite deep and it I thought it was a really good start at all if you're not sure what to get this one's going to be great because like I said you can put one needle in two needles or three and you can change the needles and it comes with instructions inside so I really liked that now this one is my old favorite and it's got two needles in because I find that's easier to work with and you can see it's felting together quite well mind your fingers um, and I use it all the time so I find it really really good but I do think I prefer the clover pen over this now but you can see that's formed that ball really quite quickly there we go that's the two from the clover pen and the tri needle so the next one is this one and um, I felt because they were wider you have to be a little bit more careful of your fingers but I loved the feeling of this one in your hand. It was very easy to use if your hand's not very strong as well, or if you get any pains in your hand from needle felting. This one is great and it just fits in the palm of your hands and it, it feels fantastic. And because they're spread out, I think they work quite well. I put the, the 40 spirals in and they just went straight through the wool, not a problem. And it, it felted and formed the ball really quite quickly. So I did think, because I go through the prices in a bit, this one's about £4.50. I think it's really good. So this is the six needle and I've got the 38 triangulars, 36 triangulars, sorry. It did not go in at all. So it was a really unfair trial. So because I was going to use the other eight one first, I'll come back to this one. So it did not work with the big needles. This one with the eight, oh, it's, it was so good. With the 40 spirals, it went straight through and I think that's quite good. And you could use just two in this or four or six or the full eight. And you can see that ball coming together quite quickly. It was beautiful. Just obviously you've got to mind your fingers when you start to be, when you're using loads of needles. But I loved this one. I thought it was really good. There, you can see it's neatening up and tidying it really nicely. It was easy to hold. And I am a bit of a sucker because it's cherry wood. So it's, you know, beautiful craftsmanship. So this one was a bit more at the £15 mark. But again, like I said, you could use it with far less needles if you needed to. And they were dead straight. They fitted in it beautifully. So spirals in this one. And it worked so much better. Uh, it, it's, it, it's the golden rule is make sure you've got much finer needles and yes you've got to be careful around wire armature but um, it, it's like chalk and cheese it really is and they went in quite fast so this was fantastic and this one's a good price it's about £4.70 I think I'll go through prices sorry it's all in pounds um, it's just so much easier because that's how it's all come to me so here they all are just a couple of things I wanted to say everyone asks what do I put around the top of my needles it's just a bit of um, black tape it makes it softer because I find sometimes if it's just a single needle it rubs on the finger there so this just makes it a bit softer in your hand and I know after all the multi needle tools I'm going to show you this but sometimes I just use a rubber band on two <laughs> spiral needles and it works really, really well. It has to be quite a small rubber band, but you could try it out and then you're going to get a feeling of what a multi-tool uh, needle holder can do for you. So I find, just give that a go with a little bit of rubber band. It's quite tricky to put any more than two because they go a bit wonky. But um, yeah, there you go. That's a, the cheap option. <laughs> Um, so going through them all price wise the punch tools around about 10 you can can get that on Amazon safely um, I think I was looking at prices the lovely cherry wood is 15 so a bit more but beautifully made four pounds 50 it's going to be one of my favorites seven ish uh, four pounds 70 
and then the clover tool 1150 so which ones are my favorites which ones do i think i'm going to take forwards i think well that's for 2d really i think the clover pen is fantastic it's similar to when you put a couple of the spirals together and it worked so well and it's really precise and it would probably be great around wire armature um, these two are very similar um, six and eight needles there's not much in it but they've got to be fine needles spiral needles and they worked really really well so I was very pleased with both both of them I struggled to to sort of fault any of them too much because they speed up your work the tri needle now feels inferior compared to the other ones and this one I really loved the feeling of this one in the hand especially at, it's four pounds fifty you know it's worth trying and it would speed up your work most definitely but it's, it was just the feeling in the hand it was lovely so those two are my favorites um i will put links down below to any that i can find on amazon that are good otherwise go to the main suppliers but thanks for watching and see you again soon